Hello my little butterflies and it is about that time of year and this year I am participating in a very merry readathon. So this is the third of very merry readathon and I'm participating in this one because the challenges seemed like you know just pretty easy and I didn't know what I wanted to read in December anyway so this is going to kind of make my TBR. So the Very Merry Readathon is created from it's created by Hannah from Tiny Book Dragon and it goes from the 10th through the 26th of December. And um, when I seen it, uh, Vanessa from A Paper Fairy who is co-hosting this along with Stacy from Stacy Stories, Hannah Kay from A Cup of Wonderland, and Krista from The Bookish Porcupine. When she I, when she, I seen that she posted it and I watched the video, I was like, oh, it all seemed pretty easy, and I just automatically had answers to go with the challenges. I already had books to go with them. So this is probably going to be, if not my whole TBR for December, majority of my TBR for December. Because I'm pretty sure somewhere next month is the next um, bout of books readathon as well. I, I have to go check the dates, but I'm pretty sure it's next month at some point or in January. But I think it's next month. And um, so I'm going to be doing that as well. So whatever I don't read in this readathon, because I don't read all these books in one week, I'll read for that readathon and whatever else the rest of the month. So let's get straight to the challenges. The first challenge is read a book set during the holidays. And for this, I'm going to do A Winter Dream by Chantel Godori. And I was going to read that this month before it came out on the 27th of November. But... Um, I figured I wasn't going to have time to read it because I really want to read some more of my Native American um, Heritage Month and Alzheimer's Awareness Month reads that I have for my TBR. So I'm going to just push that to December. It is a Nutcracker retelling, but it, sound, it has a curse in it and true, finding your true love and heartbreak. And oh my God, I just, I can't wait to read this book. And it doesn't seem like a very long book, but it seems like a very interesting book. And I just, I can't wait to read that. And I wanna go see the nut, the new Nutcracker movie that just came out. Then the second challenge is read a book with a Christmassy color on the cover. Red, green, silver, gold, or blue. And for this challenge, I chose Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. I want to read this before January. This is on, this is like number one on my most anticipated releases for this year. And it has red, blue, I mean technically that's white, but it could be silver. But you know, you get the point. I, I really, 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 really am trying to find a way to read that. So I really am pushing myself to read it in December. I lied to my told and said I was going to read it in November, but I know that's not going to happen. So hopefully I can get through this in December before the new year hits. So at least I can try to get half of the books off of my most tips anticipated releases off of my list then the third challenge is read a book with illustrations in it if it is i automatic like a graphic novel and i'm gonna read krampus volume one by brian jones so i wanted to keep it a little christmasy and i could have just picked any graphic novel i could have just did like soccer volume two because i need to get to that because the first volume was so good but i was like i've never read krampus and i always hear people talking about it and i think there's another movie for Krampus that's coming out this year so I, I'm i gonna read the graphic novel and try to educate myself on what the hell's going on with Krampus I know it's like a Christmas demon that's the most I know about it then the fourth challenge is read a book that was given to you as a gift and for that I'm going to start over and complete Blackbird Fly by Erin Estrada Kelly um, this was a gift that I got for not this birthday but my birthday last year uh, my my husband, fiance at the time, bought me um, a bunch of books for my birthday, and this is one of the books. And I started reading this one um, a couple months ago and never finished it. Not because it was bad, but I picked it up because I was doing the last person standing the last person standing challenge, and the week went by, so I lost points because I didn't finish it anyway. So I just put it down and started reading something else. So I want to start reading this. It's a middle grade novel about this. Um, she's Philippine, and she's going through. Um, a tough time at school she got voted the ugliest person in the school so it's a lot of bullying going on people make fun of her people tell her that her family eats dogs and she just she's going through a lot of hard times being bullied but she finds an escape through music so that's what this book is about i started it started out like it hit me hard like y'all i got i think i got past the first chapter oh the first two chapters and i just died for her i'm like i who tells the person that like i wanted to cry for her i was like i if i was her mother let me tell you, 
somebody's child would have been getting it because I will fight kids over my child like telling her some of the stuff that they tell her in this book it just it's really mean and it's really hard and it's like oh but I can't wait to finish it because it started off good I, like I said I only read the first two chapters so it can only get better from that hopefully and then the fifth challenge is read a book just because you want to and for that I did The Last to Let Go by Amber Smith which is her second novel she did The Way I Used to Be um but this is not it's not a series they look the covers look similar if you see the covers they look similar but it's not a series at all it's following two totally different people so don't think that it's a continuation you don't have to read one before you read the other but the way I used to be was a very good and emotional book and it's about the character the main character she gets raped by her brother's best friend and it's about her going through that and not telling anyone and all of the destructiveness that it did to her life and to people around her and just that but this book follows oh god I can't remember her name the main character I think it's her junior year or her senior year but they moved to a new town so it's like she gets a fresh start and then her she comes home and finds out that her mother killed her father and no one knows if it was in self-defense or if she just finally lost it and killed them but her father was very abusive to, towards them so they don't know who's the reason what happened to why they to why her mother killed her father so now that she has to go and finish high school being the girl that her mom killed her dad and so it's like it's just like everything goes downhill and it's her and her siblings so it seemed like it's gonna be an emotional book reading this one I have a lot of emotional reads on here that I see so yeah that is my TBR for a very married readathon I would love to see if you guys would do it as well I figured if I do my TBR for it now there's no way that I won't do it okay so I'm putting it out there and I find because I've done two about a book readathons three of them actually and I've never posted a, a video about it because I always wait last minute and then the week's over so I'm like well it's too late now so I figured I'd do it early get it out of the way before I even do my wrap up or my December TBR so there's, it's no way that it's not going to get posted so that is all that I have for this video I would love to see if anyone else is participating please comment down below if you have ever participated in one and if you're going to participate in this one I would like to know and I will see you guys next time bye